college. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to like go into space or even like deep sea or something? Yeah, absolutely one of not. Those things? Absolutely not. Yeah, me too. Me okay, neither. Okay, yeah. Because we know what just happened when they went deep down in the ocean. And, uh, thank you. We're never heard from again. So, thank you. No, thank you. I'm okay with staying on Earth. All right. Well, I'm about to review ISS. It stands for International Space Station. And it's about a space station that's in, in space. And there's like three Russian astronauts and three American astronauts that uh -huh. are up there. So let me tell you who's in this. And okay. let me tell you what it's about. It's rated R. Hmm. It's an hour and 35 minutes. Is there nudity or something in there? No. Bloody? Uh, yeah, it's a little, some little. violence. It's just okay. violence. That's why it's rated R. There's no, okay. I don't recall a lot of cussing. Uh, there's definitely no nudity. Okay. Darn it could it. have been on no, TV. <laughs> okay. <laughs> could have been made on TV. You know? Made for TV. Yeah. Okay. So tell, tell us who's uh, in ISS. All right. So Ariana DeBose is doing her thing this year. She's what in Wish, in this, and I just saw her. It, oh, she's also in Argyle, actually. Okay. So, so she's blowing. She's blowing uh. up right now. Yeah. She plays Dr. Kira Foster. Okay. Chris Messina plays Gordon Barrett. Uh, John Gallagher Jr. plays Christian Campbell. You remember him from Underwater in 10 Cloverfield Was he Lane? the one with, um, in Underwater, that's the one with uh, Kristen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the yeah. one that we couldn't figure out what the heck was going on yeah, to the middle so of the freaking movie. Yeah, so he's going deep diving and he's going into space. And okay, it's dude. not working out either time. Should have known. Yeah, yeah, he should know better. Okay. <laughs> Masha Maskova plays uh, Ver Ver Veronica. Veronica. Yeah. That is hard to, Veronica. How do you even She's make name your Russian child that? She, it's a Russian name. Veronica. It's yeah. hard to pronounce though, Veronica. Like Rory. That name is kind it's, of hard to pronounce. It sounds name. close to Veronica. Yeah, so, except yeah. Veronica. Mm -hmm. Wow. Costa Ronan plays Nikolai Pulov and Palau Aspic plays Alexei Pulov. Okay. And you'll recognize him from Game of Thrones, Aquaman, and The Lost Kingdom. You've seen, uh, uh, yeah, that. Yeah. So what's going on in here, pretty much? To so, nutshell. like I said, Americans and Russians on the International Space Station, conflict breaks out on Earth. So you see this in the trailer. Normally, we don't do spoilers. This one, you got a pinch of a spoiler? I got, I got a pinch of a spoiler. Okay. Okay. And it's not even really a spoiler. It's what's missing, which is why I'm going to give it the rating that I'm going to give it. Okay. And I haven't seen any trailers for this. So this is why I've it's kind of... the trailers. And it looked exciting on the trailers. It looked exciting. <laughs> so they showed most of the best, uh, one of those, showed a lot of the good parts in the trailer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So... <laughs> you about to get <laughs> deep in here. <laughs> Set your papers out. These people are on the space station, okay? It's just six of them. Okay. All right? Everything is hunky-dory. They're getting along. They're drinking. You know, it's all mm. kumbaya, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm just telling you what's in the trailer right now, okay. okay? I'm not... There is no spoilers right here. Okay. This is all in the trailer. I believe you. <laughs> all of a sudden, they look out to Earth, and they're like, what's going on? They see explosions. 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 So then the Little Russians, fires everywhere? Yeah. Okay. All over the earth. Big. Okay. So the Russians tell their people, you need to take over that station any means necessary. And the Americans tell their people, you need you to take, take over, over that, that station, station by any, any means, means necessary. necessary. So that's where the thriller comes in. <laughs> so not even clashing. Yeah, there's only <laughs> six of them. Like if there's conflict on the earth. Y'all can get together. Y'all can get together. It's six of You're in the space. You're in space. With X amount of food, you got enough food for like a year because two people just got up there. You got enough food for a while. You know, just <laughs> get along. Just wait. They never tell us. I'm just going to tell you right now. They never tell us exactly what popped off down on Earth. Wow. You never see people on Earth talking about what popped off. You never see them like calling back like, no kind of resolution take over the station. or, you know. There's a resolution. I mean, I don't want to give that away. I mean, there's kind of a, there's no resolution in regards to the war. That's what I'm wondering. Like, did they, they didn't get into the nitty gritty and tell you exactly no. what was going on. They no. Just, Here's what's happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then people killing each other on the space station, trying to take it over. And Do they know that this sabotaging. is Earth that they're trying to take over? Yeah. They're trying to sabotage okay. the station that they live on, that they have to survive on. <laughs> That is also kind of falling out of orbit and they need somebody from Earth to like 
do something on their end to kick them back. But we never see these people in this, in the, you know, on Earth in NASA. We never see people at the at the Russian counterpart of NASA. You just, know, just it's here's just what it the, is, and here's what you should yeah, figure it out. All the space station <laughs> stuff. So that sucked to me. I need a little bit more information. You mm -hmm. only went, what did I say? Some An more hour action. and 35 minutes. I'm going to need that extra 25 minutes to give me a little bit more background. That's pretty short for films what's now. Popping off because it's a thriller and usually thrillers are short. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need a little bit more information on what's popping off mm -hmm. at home. I'm going to need somebody to, hey, you know, call you us say, like, <laughs> you know, like, can you, you know how they can talk to each yeah. other. Yeah. I need somebody to be like, it's going off down here. There's a war. Such as this <laughs> happened. Blah, blah, blah. You could have did anything. I need somebody. Uh, a little bit of something just to yeah. edge it along the segue. segue World War movie. just started because blah, 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 blah. You know, and mm -hmm. this is why we need you to, we don't get, you don't no get. No segue or nothing. They just no, jumped no, no, right no, on over. No, no, They just no jumped argument. the fence. Yes. Yes. That, that angers me when I watch movies. I'll be like, what? Wait a minute. Why couldn't they have taken two minutes and just yeah. did a quick scene yeah. to segue? They could have done something. I, I, I am okay with being intrigued and wondering yeah. and thinking, not just insulted yeah you know what i mean yeah they just we don't want to have to be insulted the movie was okay it's just there's mm -hmm. no background on anything you know mm -hmm. you can't really get like fully involved with even the people on the sh on the ship so the you get no character development you get just barely character development like you kind of see like one of the russian women likes the the american man but he's like <laughs> does she like me so like we don't even get like what happened with that? Like last time you were on the ship, was there a romance? Like why did she like you? They hook like, up or nothing? Yeah, they link up. Doing that. Yeah, is there something really between you? Is there not? Like, are you really we're in do you space? Have a you should know this, and that's why you're not interested. Like, cause she's pretty. I mean, like <laughs> I, I, <laughs> he ain't trying to holler, get shot down, nothing. She you was get shot. nothing until they're about to die, and then he, then they kiss or something. But one still, of those, like, PG one kiss, of those right? teenage. Yeah. Team B bopper type of yeah, movie. Yeah, then it's like, okay, yeah, I do like you. Because okay. you're about to die. Cause... Yeah, you're just a little too late now. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so in my nose, I put like, it was mid. Mid level. For, for, the, for the young people, it was it was mid. Okay. You know, it, and it could have been much better. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 and another thing. Okay. <laughs> I've seen several space type movies, <laughs> including all the like, the, the, the Marvel movies and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And people are in space and they're floating and stuff like mm -hmm. this. Yeah. Why is it They're this like bouncing one? Almost like this. Yeah. And you can space. see their pants. No. Like kind of pulled up because of Stop the harness it. that they had to use to make it look like they're floating. Stop it. Like they one did or two not. guys, you kind of their pants look normal, but Ariana DeBose and another couple people. Oh like, wow. You could what? see their pants. <laughs> that is not see, good. I'm like, this is. Because somebody should have caught that. Why am I here? Why, Why were you there? Let me just look like it was going to be good from the, from <laughs> the trailer. Okay, it's it's a commercial. Commercial. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm glad you seen this and I didn't know. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Either don't see it or wait till it comes on Redbox and you have like a free rental <laughs> or it comes on TV for free or something. But this is one you could miss. Totally um, miss it. There's no extra scenes. The okay. budget for this was $20 million. <laughs> And the wow. gross of the United States and Canada about like when did I print this out? Like over three, maybe just a week ago or less, is three million three point three million three hundred thirty four thousand eight hundred sixty one dollars. That's bad. Yeah, opening weekend gross for U.S. and Canada was three million sixty four dollars. You know, sixty four thousand five hundred eighty three dollars. I wonder what they thought it was going to gross. Yeah. spending As that much of money. January twenty first, the gross worldwide was three million three hundred thirty four thousand eight hundred sixty one. Mm. I'm and, thinking and that's good for you know, because like I said, you could see the pants being pulled. The acting was good. You know, it was fine. The story was booty, and they need to do better with the whole. <laughs> See, you, I'm like, I can't, it's taking me out of the movie when I'm seeing the freaking pants being like pulled like, up pulled for that. The Looks funniest, like got wedgies going on. The, the funniest thing I think about, which was done intentionally, was in I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Remember where the mom goes to the restaurant and she's gonna help her son or whatever, but the stunt man is an actual man. The yeah, man yeah, is yeah, with yeah, a mustache. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. my freaking, st but that was done intentionally. So we yeah. expect it there, but not when you're watching a serious movie. Yeah. And I'm thinking these type of movies are a lot more popular with the older, you know, maybe like your mom and dad's age or whatnot. 
Because oh. they, I, it, I ain't gonna say this was their error. I don't know how old your parents are, but I'm saying this wouldn't probably attract a 25 year old. I'm just saying. I don't think my dad would want to see. He wouldn't. You know, I think it, I think it would attract a 25 year old because of the the trailer. They the way it the tricked trailer you. Real good. Yeah. Like the way it tricked they tricked you. Me. My son was even like, yeah, I really want to see it. As soon as I walked out of that mug, I was like, uh, DJ Aaron Michael. Michael, don't. don't. <laughs> Don't bother. Don't bother to go Three see red this. box it or wait for so it to stream. I am going to give this. I got a feeling of you're going to say. Two clappers. Oh, I thought you were going to say one and that's half. that's because the acting was good. Okay. You know. Mm -hmm. And two is generous. Two is generous. I probably should have said one, actually, but. I, I, so I'm you're not even rec mat recommending matinee. You're like, It no. wasn't the most horrible movie I've ever seen in life. That's it why just I'm boring? saying two. Bland. It was a little interesting, but the it, it, only reason it was a little interesting was because I kept waiting for more information. And then when it was over and there's no extra scenes or nothing, not even like font that comes up, mm -hmm. you know, text and says, this is what happened. Yeah, like in such and such and such, yeah. this is what happened to the I was blah, like, blah, blah, blah. oh, hell. <laughs> After you pay, I, I know you did matinee. Yeah. Okay, I'm just glad to hear you did matinee. And I, I, I wish that Harkins would give me my money back, but it's not their fault, so. Did your dad see this one? No. Okay, because I was going to ask you what he thought about this one. Yeah. But I would like to hear what he thinks about this one, because yeah, no. I have a feeling he would have fell asleep the way you're talking about it. Yeah, no, <laughs> so. he, he didn't see this one, well, no. unfortunately. Well, there you have Miss Jewel's review of ISS. So like she said, wait until you get a free rent. Red box, or just five. skip it. You know, or your just, life will be fine without it. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget that Jules and I we are on Facebook, uh huh, YouTube, yes, Instagram. And keep in mind that on Instagram, if we're more than fifteen minutes, uh -huh. it will cut us off. But um, f like and follow us on YouTube or Facebook, and you won't get any of the videos cut off. Right. Um, we take requests. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter what genre it is. Just let us know on our page what you want to see. We'll watch it, shout you out on the show. We got trivia coming up. So people who watch the show know about us, about our movie likes and dislikes. That's what the trivia questions are going to be most geared towards going towards the future. So one day you might be sitting there on a Wednesday be like, oh, they got a trivia going on. They, we're going to buy you lunch. Answer the question right. And, you know, by the next day, within 24 hours, we're going to pick our winner. And we do pick the winner by pe the, the people who got the answer correct first. And like and follow us. Right, and like and follow us. So we don't want to put stuff on there that's easy to look up on the internet. So this is why we've decided to um, do questions for people that actually watch the show yeah. and know things about our movie taste, right? That's only fair because I can look up something on the internet five seconds and it's yeah. kind of cheating. Yeah. And we don't, we don't want that. We want to be fair to everybody. So if you watch our videos, um, we'll always announce that we're going to do um, some trivia. It'll always be a few hours later or whatnot that we'll, you know, post the winner or maybe usually within 24 hours. Yes. So keep an eye out on us. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much for tuning into our review and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>